is up guys, Dev Warrior here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to go through my video of if Zack Snyder edited Captain America Civil War and I'm going to be commentating on it and explaining some of the parts that may have not been so obvious. So if there's anything that you found kind of unclear about the video that you may have missed or you're not a diehard Marvel fan like me, yeah, stick around. Anyways, without any further ado, let's get started. So, you know, the aspect ratio changed. So yeah, I changed the aspect ratio to make it like more Zack snyder -y. I admit I probably should have changed like it to be two bars on the side to have it like a four by three aspect ratio, but I, I, I just didn't feel like doing that. So yeah. So I'm sure there's a whole subplot of Black Widow, like switching sides. I just got rid of that. Okay, color grading changed, as you can see. Because, you know, Zack Snyder does like more of a bluish color grade. I actually did do like a color match thing, so it's exactly the same color grading as it's supposed to be. I probably should have ended that scene better, but it's not a big deal. Beautiful eye. I think Kiri said like I'm flying a stick or something like that. I just got rid of that to make it more emotional sounding. Okay. So he actually said something here, but I drowned it out with the music to make it sound. I, I, I thought it sounded better, more emotional and stuff. And see, everything's drowned out and he shoots him. See, Iron Man shoots Falcon. And you'll notice that like, I. He just falls, and you don't have to see him hit the floor, though. That's because in the original cut, like, he falls in a weird way. Like, in the, the he falls in like a rag doll, and he falls really funny. And I, I think, like, when I saw it, I thought it was really funny when he fell. So I got rid of that to make it, you know, more serious and stuff. So, originally this whole thing was like a 12-minute video, but I had to put it into parts because... I got I got I got copyrighted and stuff, but hopefully I shouldn't have to put this video with the parts. So yeah, this the scene where he's like having nightmares is from Iron Man three, but it's based off of the and the scene in Batman vs Superman where he has like nightmares about Superman turning evil. So as you can see, he has these nightmares that of like Bucky Barnes being bad and then. Also, nightmares of Captain America turning evil, which is basically supposed to inspire him to go and fight them. Because now he just realized he's having a vision like, oh my gosh, Bucky killed my parents. So instead of him watching it on a TV, he actually just has a vision of it. And uh, yeah, that scene of uh, Captain America killing somebody, that wasn't even like a Steve Rogers, that was um, uh, John Walker. So it's like he's having premonitions, but they're like out of context. Oh, this scene, I did a little bit of like, I cut out like five minutes of the whole fight in here. And I thought I, but I thought that it made it, I, I thought that it kind of, it added a bit of uh, a little creative spark into it. And it made it more, more dramatic and more action packed. So here in this scene, oh yeah, Batman theme right there. So in this scene, Iron Man comes in and is like, alright guys, I, I'm sorry, I made a mistake, I, I'll be your friend now. But instead I'm just like, no, just go straight to fighting. No talking, just fighting, which is a very Zack Snyder thing, I think. Because like, even if ever a Superman, he just, Batman just wasn't even listening, he just kept fighting. That's the Man of Steel theme, but played like in a very sad way. Yeah, so here Iron Man says like move and, and then he just he just he just like he just says like move get out of the way. But instead I got that out of there and just have him say nothing. 
And though, even though I cut a lot of parts in the scene, it kind of like make it still it still works. I think even though I cut a lot of parts, like you wouldn't really notice if this was your first time. But yeah, Batman theme again too, because he's like bad and evil and stuff. He killed my mom. He killed my mom. So then they're fighting. So a lot of this stuff I kind of left alone in this fight because it was good. But I put beautiful lie in some parts of it. See? If you pay attention, you can actually hear it, but it, it, go, it comes in louder. Again, he's actually screaming here, but I drowned out the screaming with music. And I don't like that. I think that makes everything more dramatic when you drown out the screaming with music. This scene was dope. That was like I can't I couldn't take that out. And also notice how there's like a lot of slow-mo in here. Yo, this scene made bad then I like this music that I used made Iron Man seem like a, a threat, like Dude, this is do you bleed. Final warning. Yeah, that's threatening man. So I did this, because it's supposed to be like the Martha scene, but with Bucky. Even though Bucky's still alive. I should have used, I could have used Peggy, but I decided to use Bucky. Because it reminds me of what he's fighting for. And like, he remembers losing Bucky, and he doesn't want uh, anybody else to lose Iron Man. And also, there was a scene where like Iron Man visited the prison, but again, it didn't make sense because of what I did here, so I kind of just cut that out. I kind of got rid of all the happy scenes. Anyway, so yeah, that was my commentary on the Captain America Civil War edit. If there's any questions you had, anything I didn't explain that clearly or anything like that, let me know down in the comments below. But with that being said, like, share, subscribe, catch you in the next one. Peace.